Peach Girl, Spicy Spivey. Hey, my spices. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you too can become one of my spices. Also, hit that notification bell so you can get my new uploads as well. Hey, my spices. I hope everybody is having a great weekend. Today, I am coming to you with a DIY making a movie theme gift basket. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna tell you guys what I am using and how we're gonna go ahead and assemble this gift basket. So I have a container here. Since it's a movie theme, you know, you just try to find little things that you will normally eat in a movie, have at the movie. So I have popcorn, I have um, some Twizzlers, I have some combos. I have some Cheez-Its. Three packs come in this box. I have a little movie I got from the Dollar Tree. This is a Tom and Jerry uh, kids favorites. And you can choose any type of movie that you want to choose. Um, I have dots and whoppers. And oops, some M&Ms. And a oop. And I also have my base is a popcorn holder, popcorn container. So this is perfect, guys, because once you go ahead and pop the popcorn, well, the person that you gift it to pops the popcorn, you can go ahead and just pour it in there and everybody can dig on in. So what um, the other things you will need is some scotch tape or glue dots. And always try to get the uh, clear tape. Always use clear tape because you try to make it invisible to the eye. Okay. Um, you also will need a shrink wrap bag, a blow dryer, and you're going to need some stuffing. This is a roll, it came as a roll, and I got it from the Dollar Tree, but I just went ahead and crunched it up already so that, you know, it won't be so noisy on camera when I go ahead to stuff it. And you will need some type of either tissue paper or um, shredding to go on top of the stuffing. So let's go ahead and get started. So I also use, this is like a little paper bag, and I'm going to stuff it. The purpose of stuffing your gift basket is you want to make a homemade gift basket look professional. Okay, that is the object to make it look professional like you bought it from a store. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this in. Now, you don't want to use so much. This basket is uh, kind of thin, so you don't want to take the shape out of the basket so be careful how much stuffing you use um for your basket okay so i am going to situate that like that and don't worry if it pops out because when you put the items on here, it will weigh it down. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this tissue paper and put it on top to camouflage the brown paper. Here you have it. So all of the brown paper is actually hidden. See? Okay, so what I like to do, I like to take my larger items and set them to the back. Now, when I set these larger items, such as the movie, when I place this in the back, I'm just showing, I'm putting it in the front right now. Oh, let me tilt this a little bit. Sorry, guys. Let 
Okay, so when I tilt it, put this in the back, have your front of the item facing the back. So when you turn from all angles, you will be able to see that the items you have in the basket. Okay, so that's going to be my back. So I'm going to turn this around. And next to this, what I will put in here next is probably the popcorn. Now, see, you can have the popcorn. If you wanted to put the popcorn up front, you could do the popcorn like so with the label showing that way. But since I am doing it, putting it in the back, I want to stand it up this way so that you can see it. Okay, so I'm going to turn it around. And do it like that. Now you also have to remember that it is very important to balance your basket. You don't want to hand somebody a basket and they go to sit it down and it leans or it tilts forward or tilts backwards. You do not want that. But... You will have to play around with your basket prior to um, taping everything so that, you know, once you tape it, you want to be done with it. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of sit these items in here to see how it looks, how I like it. Now see, I have changed my mind already. I see the whoppers. I want the whopper, like the front part of the whopper um, box to show so you can have, a, they can have an idea of what it is. Then here's the M&Ms. Now I can either put the M&Ms this way and then you can put your Twizzlers. Now you can stick the combos right here because don't worry about seeing necessarily the box that says popcorn because the popcorn is showing from the back, okay? But see how it's a big space right here? You try to fill in all the spaces, okay? So before I take this, I'm going to go ahead and rearrange it a little bit so that you don't have, the, there's no big gaps in the box, in the basket rather. Okay, now let's swing this around and see how this looks. You can always rearrange it however you feel it looks better. Okay, so I'm going to mess with it a little bit. And then I will show you guys what I have.
Now, this is a yum yum basket. I'm telling you, anyone that gets this basket will love it. And it, especially if you know the person really well and you know what they like, that will be awesome. They will love it. guys how cute is that see you got the little whoppers right here and with this using this tissue paper you are able to open it up and spread it open so that you know you could just give it up it just gives it a little um and I don't know uh just like I stated make sure that everything is kind of color coordinated so it makes the basket look very just a fun basket. It captures the eyes. So here we have it. I have this. This pretty much. This is how I'm going to have this basket. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and tape these items in place. Like I said, you can use glue dots or scotch tape. And I just take the tape and I fold it and I'll just take this item, stick it right there to the box, stick that there. There you have it. That's stuck. They're stuck together. I'm going to do the same thing with this movie. And you just always try to just hide the tape. That's the object so that they don't see it, you know, with the naked eye. So, And I, I went to the store, but I was in the Dollar Tree. And normally, the Dollar Tree carries um, glue dots. They did not have any today, so I just had to improvise. Now, another thing, when I put the shrink wrap on the basket, you guys will see how it will mold everything into place. So, you don't have to worry too much because it will not, it will not shift because that's what you do not want. You do not want your items to shift in the basket. That is a big no-no, your item shifting. Now, some things like, now it depends. It Say, for instance, this uh, these bags here. If you have harder, like things such as boxes, they will not crush or the shrink, because the shrink wrap will pull these items very tight. Okay, so when you have bags like this, beware that they will, um, they can crumble depending on how you how much you shrink it in the area so if you, that's going to be the case you want to make sure that you kind of have them already taped down so when they the shrink wrap the blow dryer hits the shrink wrap it will be it'll have a smooth look to it okay so let me go ahead and take that down now see this will be on the top so nobody will really see it, but I'm going to still put the tape underneath the tag like that. And I'm going to do the same thing with the Twizzlers packet.
Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and set the shrink wrap just in here. Now with these bags, sometimes the bag may be a little large for the item that you have. So when you go to gather it, make sure it's not gathered too much in one area because you do not want that to, um, you don't want it to look gathered when you go ahead and blow dry it and shrink, you know, shrink wrap the item. So kind of do it towards the back and just make sure it's kind of even all the way around. Now I have, if you buy this shrink wrap bag that came from the Dollar Tree, it comes with a bow. And it's as simple as pulling these two strands together. And make it a bow just like that. And you should just okay, this one didn't finish. It's not finished. Just like that. And you just adjust it. And then it has the strings. So then you're able to take the strings and tie the strings around the bag. Now you do not have to tie it in the front, tie it directly in the center. You can be creative and tie it how you want to tie it. When you are using chocolate products, you have to be careful and not to blow dry the chocolate product too much because it will melt it. Blow dry this. It's this simple, guys. Put it on hot and high. One, two, three. It's just that simple. Now you can decide whether you want to cut these off or if you want to, um, if you want to just curl them. And if you want to curl them, you just. And that just gives them an extra little, you know. Here's your little bow. Now, sometimes when this is so big, I just cut it down a little bit. And there you have it, a movie gift basket. Hey guys, 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it. I would also like you to try it because it's just that simple. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. And um, leave me a comment below if you would like me to do another gift basket, like a baby gift basket, a gift basket for a man. I mean, it's so many different gift baskets that we are able to make. You just have to use your imagination, your creativity, and you too can make a gift basket like Spicy Spivey. Thanks, guys. I love you guys. But wait, did you hit that button? Did you hit that button? Did you hit that button? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Bye, mom.